Welcome to the Ajax Union Google 101 webinar. This webinar will help you learn more about AdWords and Google's pay-per-click system. To learn more about Ajax Union, visit www.ajaxunion.com. To learn more about Google's products and services, visit google.com slash services slash small business. Hello, my name is Joe Applebaum and I will be teaching you today's class about Google AdWords. The class will take approximately 20 minutes and you will be able to understand the following things. We will teach you an introduction to AdWords. We will also show you how Google ranks ads and we will also show you how to create great ads. So let's get started. Here's an introduction to Google AdWords. So what is Google AdWords? Google AdWords is an auction. Advertisers compete against each other in the auction to have their ads appear when people search on particular keywords. In today's presentation, we will get into the details about the auction and how to make your ads more competitive. As you can see, Google AdWords is Google's online advertising program. Advertisers select keywords. Ads appear next to the search results on Google.com. Advertisers can also show ads on hundreds of thousands of websites. Ads are matched to web pages relevant to advertiser keywords. So people have many questions. Many small businesses ask if AdWords is appropriate option for their business. No matter what size your business is, you can benefit from advertising with Google. Today we will address some of the most common questions from people interested in advertising with AdWords. So people ask questions like, how do I get my ad to the number one position? Is AdWords appropriate for my small business? What keyword should I use? How will I be charged? Where will my ads appear? And many other questions that you might come up with. Think about what questions you might have, write them down, and please email us at info at ajaxunion.com. We will be more than happy to answer any questions you have about Google AdWords. Before we begin, you need to set your goals. Before spending any money with Google AdWords or any online marketing campaigns, we make sure that our clients have very specific goals. Do you want to brand your business online? Do you want to make more leads, get more orders? What do you want to do? and how much of it do you want to see? So do you want to open your email every morning and see at least three new orders? Do you want five quality leads a day for your sales team to call? Do you want to double your customer base? Sit down today and think about what are your specific goals. I can not tell you how important that is and how many people today are doing business without a specific goal. You might tell me, well Joe, I don't have a goal because my goal is to make as much money as possible, to get as many leads as possible. I don't want to limit the amount of success that I can have. Well, by not having a very specific number and by not limiting your success, you're actually limiting your success. When you get into a car, you need to know what the destination is. The same thing with online marketing. When you start a campaign, you need to identify what your goals are. So once you set your goals, let's talk about where your actual advertisements will appear. So if you searched at Google.com, and I'm sure many of you have searched Google.com for anything and everything, you'll notice that there are ads on the side of the Google search results. Not for every keyword, but for most keywords, Google has advertisers on the side. So for example, if you search a keyword like zip lines, you'll notice that because it's a competitive keyword, you have key, you have ads on the top and also ads on the side. Sometimes you also have ads on the bottom. Sometimes you'll have images on the side. But just for you to understand, the area in the middle is Google Organic and the area on the side and on the top where it's clearly marked with the word ads are the advertisements where your ads can appear. There are also something called search partners like AOL.com, Google News, Google Images and so on and those search partners also show ads so when you want to choose the search partners it's also search but it's not necessarily google.com and then there's the google display network we call that the GDN 
It's a three-letter acronym. You could also choose to display your ads on the Google Display Network. The, dis Google, the GDN is made up of thousands of content and search sites displaying targeted ads. You want to have your banner ad in your industry websites. This includes major web portals and search sites, sites enrolled in Google AdSense program, Gmail, and sites from the DoubleClick Ad Exchange. You can choose specific display network websites called placements where your ad will appear. And we're going to get into that more in other webinars. But today we're going to focus mostly on the search. So how do you create a Google AdWords account? Well, you can call Ajax Union at 1-800-594-0444 and we can create one for you. Or you can go to www.adwords.com and click on the Start Now button. So let's talk about how an ad ranks. Everybody wants to know exactly how Google makes the calculation to identify how much an ad should cost. There's a pricing model. It's, no, it's not magic. Google doesn't decide. And the pricing model is very, very specific. It's a rate that they are willing, people are willing to pay when a visitor clicks on an advertisement. This includes advertising on a search engine website or on a partner's website. If your ad is displayed 100 times and it's clicked 25, you only pay for 25 clicks. That's why it's called PPC, pay-per-click. So how does it all work? So let's start like this. AdWords is an auction. Advertisers compete against each other by selecting keywords that are relevant to their business. When a searcher looks for something on Google, that's called a search query. Okay, We're calling that a keyword, but it's actually called a search query query, the word that people are using to search, Google conducts a live auction to determine who wins. AdWords is able to sort through billions of keywords and millions of ads to determine the winner of the auction. Advertisers are competing for an ad position on the page called ad rank. To determine the winner, Google looks at two factors, the quality of your keyword and your bid. Now remember, this is constantly changing as Google updates its algorithm to see who would be number one. So this is something that you want to stay on top of. And we at Ajax Union make sure to be on top of all the latest trends to know what's really going on as things change. Ads are positioned on the search and display networks based on your ad rank. The ad with the highest ad ranks appears in the first position and so on, down the side of the page. Even through the number one position is very popular, it is by no means the only position that can yield great returns. Sometimes people would want to click on your ad a lot just because it's first. It may not be the smartest thing to be number one, although everybody wants to be number one, but you may have a better return on investment if you're on the side. Why? because sometimes you want the person to actually read the ad make sure that the ad is for them and then click on it the position of your ad is determined using a ranking formula there is no correlation between organic presence and ad rank remember google seo has nothing to do with google ppc okay remember that seo is an organic it's a section in the middle that google decides based on its algorithm, based on the amount of links, and the, based on the amount of content on your website. And ad rank, which is, defines how your ad should show, what number it should show, number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, or 10, that is defined through the following ranking formula. So ad rank is your maximum cost per click bid. We call that CPC, cost per click. So your maximum CPC bid multiplied by your quality score. I know some of you are shaking your head now and thinking to yourself, I don't understand what that means. So I'm going to try to explain it to you. The bottom line is, if you have a great quality score, you can still show on a high position with a low bid. Okay, So your bid could be lower because since it's not only about the bid, it's also about your quality score. So your ad rank, the position of your ad, can be higher even though you have a lower quality score. And we're going to show you how that works. So let's say the maximum price that you are prepared for a click, that you are prepared to pay for a click, is 86 cents. 
Okay, that's the maximum price that you're prepared to pay for a click. That is called the max CPC. That's your bid in the AdWords auction. So let's say um, you know you want to pay only a dollar per click, and we're going to get into that in just a minute. So a measure of how relevant and useful your ads are. Do your ads and keywords provide a good user experience? So look at the first one. Number one, buy organic eggs. Somebody does a search query, somebody searches buy organic eggs. Look at the ad. Is that a good ad? Look at the second one. Look at the ad. Is that a great ad? Fresh and tasty eggs? At least the second ad actually says eggs in it, right? And the third one, organic eggs delivered. Look at that. They're really talking to the person. So you want to make sure that your ad has to do with your keyword, that it's relevant. Okay? So the first one is poor, second one is okay, and the third one is great. So you want to make sure that your ads are relevant to the keywords that people are searching. The more relevant they are, and that's why you have to create a lot of ads. You have to create a lot of ads because you have a lot of keywords. You can't just have one ad representing all your keywords. So that's why if you have a lot of ads with a lot of keywords, you'll be more successful because you get a higher quality score. You'll be able to have a lower CPC and you'll be able to have your ad come up higher and you'll be more successful for less amount of money. So quality score measures the user experience. Somebody types something in, they see a great ad. Then they go to a great website. So it doesn't only have to do with the with the ad, but it also has to do with the actual website. Does the website represent what the person was searching for? So Google measures all that into the quality score to identify if the person is going to have a user experience. A lot of it does the content on your website represent the keyword that was searched. And then there's also CTR, the click-through rate. Of the people who saw your ad, how many people actually clicked on it? So for example, if a hundred people saw your ad and one person clicked on it, what's your click-through rate? That's one percent. If ten people clicked on it, it's ten percent. So click-through rate, relevancy, and landing page quality together gives you a quality score. And the quality score is right on the keyword. You can click on the little bubble or hover over the bubble and you'll be able to see the quality score right over there or you could see it by adding the column in your Google AdWords account. So the higher your quality score, the higher you'll be able to rank within the Google AdWords system and you don't even have to pay so much. Why? Why does Google care about quality? Well, at the end of the day, Google is about giving people the information that they want when they want it. So as a result, Google will reward you by doing a good job of giving people the information that they want. They will charge you less. And let me show you how that works. So let's say Allison, Scott, and John are bidding on a keyword zipline kits. Based on their max CPC and quality score, which ad will show in the first position? Well, let's take a look. Allison's willing to pay a dollar per click and her quality score is 8. Scott has a better quality score but he's willing to pay the same amount. And John is willing to pay a tremendous amount of money but he didn't work on his ads and his landing page sucks and he has a terrible click through rate. His quality score is really low. So who's going to be number one? Well who do you think? Scott's obviously going to be number one because Scott has the highest ad rank. Allison comes in two and John, even though he's willing to play more than double per click, he's still going to be lower. He's going to be number three. Look at that. Could you imagine how much money John would save if he just optimized his campaign a little bit? At Ajax Union, we're experts at maximizing your CPC spend. We're experts at optimizing your campaign. And it takes a lot of work to do it, but we're willing to work to save you money. So how much do I actually pay? Let's take a look at that. Your actual CPC is the ad rank of the advertiser below divided by your quality score. Okay? So, explain. this is how we explain how Google determines the winner of the AdWords auction. This example shows three advertisers bidding on a similar keyword, on the same keyword actually, and each advertiser has a separate CPC bid on a quality score. So, this person would pay 80 cents, Scott would pay 80 cents, Allison would pay 88 cents, how much would Juan pay? 
So you'll at the bottom line is that you'll show at a higher position if your quality score is at least seven to ten. A lot of people say five now, and Google keeps changing it. But the bottom line is, the higher your quality score is, the more successful you'll be. Your bids will be competitive, and your bids need to be competitive, and you need to have a high quality score. And the more that you're competitive, and the more that you have a high quality score, the higher your ad will rank, and the more successful you'll be. So here are three tips to remember. Think about what sets your business apart. Why should someone choose your business over a competitor? When you're writing an ad specifically, think about that. Think about your competitive advantages. We only sell products made in the USA. We have a great money back guarantee. So what are your competitive advantages? Sit down right now, take a moment, and write down some competitive advantages of what sets your business apart. This will help you write useful ads. You could describe your products and your services. It describes specific technical details of your products and services. Here are some examples made from recycled materials. Battery lasts up to eight hours and so on. Evening classes available. This will help you write great ads. And also, at the end of the day, you need a call to action. You need to tell people what to do. After someone clicks on your ad and visits your website, what is it that you want them to do next? Call us, request something, learn more, order a copy, and so on. So make sure that you have a great call to action in your ad. So you bring it all together, and you have a better ad. Okay? So you want to make sure that you have those three things together, and you'll be successful. So after this session, you should know where ads show on Google.com, on the search network, how a Google ranks the ads, and also how to write a great ad. What are the three steps? To write a great ad. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to visit us at www.ajaxunion.com. You could always email us at info at ajaxunion. And please feel free to call us at any time at 1 800 594 0444. We're able to save you a tremendous amount of money with your AdWords because if you don't know how to do it yourself and you go ahead and you just start spending money, you're going to waste most of your budget. On average, people are wasting close to 50% of their budget because it's just not optimized. Imagine not having the right negative keywords. Imagine not having the right landing page. People are clicking and they're confused. They don't get to the right place. Or you're bidding on keywords you should not be bidding on and they're not converting. You need someone to look at this on a daily basis. If you have a good budget and you want to make some money, please call us at 1-800-594-0444 or visit us at www.ajaxunion.com. For more webinars, you can go to our website, ajaxunion.com, click on the webinars link, or just go straight to www.ajaxunion.com webinars. Thank you very much for coming to the presentation, and we hope you learned something.